Until recently, thermal imaging was well, not quite accessible or affordable until now. Well, this is a game changer. This is the thermal camera from Topdon TC View, also known as TC001. It's called 001 because this one has a uh, USB type C plugin. This, of course, goes into your phone. Comes with a, with a carrying case. Really solid, really nice. Let's open it up. And inside, we got the TC view, the thermal camera. Also, some uh, accessories. We've got the, uh, the adapter. This is uh, in case you want to uh, connect it uh, to your laptop. So, you will plug this into your laptop and you'll plug the thermal camera right in here. Also, we've got a cleaning wipe. Very nice, good quality. And the thermal camera. Wow. <laughs> Right, let's pop, uh, pop it into uh, to the phone and uh, do some testing, right? All you have to do is go to the app, plug in the camera. And you can do some thermal imaging. Okay, so here we are in the van. As you can see, I've got a thermometer right here. Ignore the uh, 25 uh, from below above, the temperature. It's around six degrees. All right, let's go throughout the van. You can see we got about six degrees, five degrees in some places. Let's check out the bed. It's uh, pretty cool, as you can see, some spots. 3.4 degrees, 4.6 in other places. The wood definitely looks uh, looks a bit a bit warmer. To be honest, I <laughs> I really like the quality of the video. You can see the chair. I've sat on that chair while, while I was uh, while I was doing the intro, so you can see it's a bit warmer. Now to to do the uh, insulation test, what I would like to do, I've got a uh, electric heater, so I'm gonna turn it on. Leave it about half an hour to an hour, just uh, until we reach around uh, 20 degrees, and then we will see the uh, weak spots. You can see it's starting to uh, radiate. Wow, look at that. Wow. All the wood is getting warm now. At 120 degrees right there. I do have to tell you now, it's uh, very nice and, and nice and cozy. Um, not quite t-shirt cozy but uh, 11 degrees showing on our uh, on our screen here but let's check out the rest of the van you can see the uh, mattress quite cold yet only 13 degrees the heater now blowing on the floor yeah facing the front of the cab you can see how nice and warm it is down there, about 19 degrees on the windows. We do have a loss. Check out the, uh, the cold spots right there, about 10 degrees right on the edge of the window. 14 degrees, 15 degrees on the metal of the door, but on the uh, outside shell we got 9 degrees. Should be about 5 degrees outside. Check out that insulation, how hot it is. So 17, about 17 degrees right on the uh, insulation. And on the bare skin of the van, we've got about 12 degrees. Yeah, so you can definitely see a huge difference there. Let's take a look on the bed. Still got about 13 degrees. And definitely some heat loss from the window. Check out the vents as well. I'm surprised how well they maintain heat. 
So we got almost 16 degrees up there. Um, I do have a, um, a fly net back there. So that's the, the worm part. You can see the, uh, the fly net. It's uh, keeping really, really nice and, uh, and hot. But right between the doors, we got 10 degrees. So a huge difference, 15. And right there, we got 10 degrees. Now, as for the floor of the van, you can probably see it's pretty, pretty cold. We got 12 degrees, even though the heater is blowing directly on the floor. Let's go inside the house and do some tests. Uh, the UK at the moment is going through a pretty cold period. Um, right now outside we got, we got around zero degrees. Uh, I do have a lot of heat losses throughout the house. So let's go and figure out exactly which way the heat, the, the heat is escaping the house or the cold is, is getting in. We are upstairs. Uh, we are basically between the two rooms that we got in the house. And uh, I do see some interesting things right here. Um, I always felt that like this portion right here of, of the landing, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty hot, but definitely there are some pipes going underneath this, uh, this floor right here. So you can actually see through the floor, which is absolutely amazing. One of the worst places inside the house is actually this bedroom. We do have those thick curtains but still the cold is just getting in. So let's do some tests and see exactly how many degrees are out there. So you can see right there on the, on the curtain, we got 16 degrees. The walls are about 16 degrees. Room temperature, you like it to keep it somewhere around 18, 19 degrees, something like that. Right at the corners of the window, we got 10 degrees. So definitely on the lower side of the window, the, uh, the cold air is, is coming through. This side is actually better. You can see about 11 degrees. Let's check out the top. It's not, not bad actually, 13 degrees. And look at that corner as well. Wow, 11 degrees right there on, on, on the corner of the room. Well, let's check out the kids room. Uh, this is a pretty nice place. It's, it's probably the best room to be in during the night for some reason. So let's check out if we have any heat losses right here or what's working and what's not basically. So we can see that the heat loss right on the edge of the windows, still about 13 degrees, which definitely shows that these windows, they do the job a bit better than uh, what I've got in, uh, in the main bedroom. But check out the cold spots right there once again right on the edge right on the corner of the room we've got 8.1 and you can see that uh, that little dot it shows basically there are three dots on the screen right on, on the center when you are um, pointing the camera and it's also going to show you the coldest and the hottest part of the room yeah? so right on the corner we got eight degrees right there on the corner it's a huge amount of heat loss, huge. And the wall itself right there, you can see it, 16 point something, 16, 17 degrees. So after using this about three weeks, and I can definitely tell you it's a great little camera. And I can see this being used by plumbers, by electricians, by professionals, by tradespersons. It's just so easy to use. You just take it out from this really nice uh, case Plug into your phone, boom, you're ready to go. It's, it's just so easy, it makes your life so easier. Uh, it, it's small and it's reliable. I've been testing this, like I've said, about three weeks now. Never fails, it's just so, so easy. Uh, and I'm also gonna use it throughout uh, my day-to-day -day life because as you probably know, I am a truck driver and I can scan the truck for problems. I can check things like uh, wheels or bearings if they're getting overheated, um, the tires if they're getting overheated, if, uh, if you got a, uh, a softer tire that will definitely show up as being more uh, heated up than the rest of them, 
uh, lots of things that uh, this thing will help me uh, throughout my day. I'll, I'll definitely recommend it and just check out the reviews on Amazon. They are absolutely 100% great. Everybody is just so pleased with this top down. You've really done a, a great thing right here. I absolutely love it. So thanks for watching. You got the link down, uh, down in the description where to purchase this. Uh, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.